Taurus, welcome. It's the Rainbow Wizard. I will be doing a reading. It is the uh, 19th of May. Happy birthday to any of you that celebrated your birthday. Uh, and I believe we are moving into the season of Gemini. Uh, I, uh, I've been meaning to look at the dates all week when the shift is, but uh, I know it's, maybe it's today. Anyway, it's your season as far as I'm concerned. Taurus, still. So uh, please like, subscribe. Um, Share the video as well, uh, leave a comment. Let's dive straight into your reading. It's a beautiful day here in the UK. Uh, I hope you are having an amazing day as well, weather-wise too. <laughs> and uh, I'm using the Good Tarot deck. This is a general reading. Do take what resonates and leave the rest. It is a, a love a reading, but I will also pick up other energies around you. So. I can never really control the outcome of the reading. <laughs> well, um, so uh, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna give it an extra shuffle here. This deck is still new, so it's uh, hard to stick together. So, Taurus. Ah, oh, the four of fire, very nice. Um, I see harmony around the home situation, three of water. Perhaps there is a, a huge celebration around you, Taurus. I mean, this can be a, a connection coming together uh, as well, but it can also be other events around you. It's bliss, it's joy. Regardless what happens in someone's life, an event, if you're there, in good health, of course, that requires uh, sometimes it, you know, uh, but it's something about this will be a very joyful event that is around you at this time. Maybe you've had an anniversary or you let me know in the comment section. I'm just drinking my coffee, by the way. But a very, yeah, fun and um, event I, I am picking up here. And you might draw your strength at Taurus from close friends, bonds, family, events. There's something about you drawing strength from within, drawing strength from those around you that love you for who you are, that value you, that put you on a pedestal as well. It's something about you ensuring that you draw all that strength, even if it's from yourself, because that is your power. Uh, in terms of an energy that I'm picking up, uh, it could be Leo. Capricorn, somewhat uh, Libra, Cancer, Major Arcana's coming here. Wow, Aquarius, my goodness. Um, wow, so yeah, someone, sure, uh, they are putting you on a pedestal, but this person is also very, 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 very obsessed, maybe possessed. <laughs> Um, this person is uh, very, very eager, let's say, to connect with you. This person have fire in their veins, in their uh, <laughs> body, in their heart. This person uh, is very fiery. <laughs> they, they might need a bucket of water <laughs> thrown on them to, to calm down. We have the love. Why? This, this is a uh, hot romance. A hot and steamy, fresh uh, from the bakery type of um, connection uh, here, Taurus. I do see that someone, someone is not normally like this, um, and and that could even scare or frighten this person as well. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, the person don't really open up this way or feel this way and definitely don't admit they are this way. Maybe that's why it's the temptation is coming up, um, which is also resembling the devil. Like they want to communicate, they now are like all oh, full guns blazing, coming in, chariot is that, okay, I need to speed up, need to go there. Uh, I want to, you know, I want to celebrate, I want to be happy, like let's get this show on the road. Okay, this is like, yeah, there is nothing holding me back. Like the, you could su suddenly see someone coming out of their shell, Taurus, <laughs> so it could be a bit of an eye opener. You. They do not expect this person coming out of the shell in this way. Maybe this person, you know, they wear a certain uh, attire and then suddenly it's like they rock up in something else. I'm, I'm not seeing they, they, they might have rocked up with angel wings and a mask and a, and a crown, okay? But 
there's something about they are going to remove the mask. Uh, yeah, they want to remove the mask. So let's look into what is going on around their energy. But so far, so good. Great, great energy around you. Really, really great energy. It very much feels like it's like there is a new chapter. But more than that, this is a new chapter after you have you have released uh, also anything that you need to release. Um, I see that this person, it feels that this is a new romance. So I, I don't really get like a heavy past vibe at all, but with the Wheel, Wheel of Fortune, it's possible. And I always say these readings, uh, they, not, they don't come with a name. Um, and personally, I do usually pick up very strong uh, connection, perhaps deep connection. No, that doesn't always mean that is uh, the best person for you or, or so, but I definitely tend to pick up very deep, strong connection that is going on within the period uh, that I'm reading for. So if you have been listening to Tarot for, um, for, let's say, even many years and you're wondering at which point did this person fall off and someone else took their place or, you know, different questions people could have, right? Because there's no name. <laughs> I just want to mention that as well, um, uh, how I see it anyway, okay? You know, it's not facts. Um, I am presenting, even though I'm a very strong believer in tarot as a guide. <laughs> now, okay, let's get to it, Taurus. Let's get to it. Page of Fire. Page of Fire. This is... Um, Someone is very enthusiastic. You have lit someone's fire. But their feelings are very... It's it's as if... They, it's as if like this person is kind of cool, calm and collected. Uncertain to going into like... They are suddenly looking in their... Uh, their drawers for their sexy outfits. They are suddenly booking in appointments to do whatever groomings required. Or you know, it doesn't have to be male or female oriented. Whether you do what, but you know, it's someone that is. Oh, they they are gonna look their best when they see you. That is for damn sure, uh, Taurus. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Okay. Um, very very exciting. Uh, yeah, it's very exciting. It's, it's getting like I, I got to bed very late. I have terrible uh, sleeping schedule at the moment. I don't feel too bad actually. <laughs> so anyway, love. Oh yes, uh, the six of cups. So <laughs> yeah, there is someone here that you are rekindling a spark, but I don't really see that it is a. Um, it's not a. Uh, like an old relationship, you're drying dust off and suddenly you have a good day. Now it, it's it's something, that it's a spark being lit from something that never was lit in the first place, in this way at least. Yeah, yeah, with the King of Cups, Eight of Wands. Whew. Yeah, it's someone that is, um, well, here I am, you're going to see me uh, in my full glory in a, in a way, King of Cups. Okay, I'm not going to be embarrassed over my emotions anymore, but they have been holding their emotions there and their passion back. This person can seem a bit like a, uh, like you, you want a chocolate cake and then like you got five of them and then you just had like one bite and I was like, oh, I was... It was great thinking of that chocolate cake and it was nice to have that taste. But I can't eat all of them. Like I, I would use 50 years to eat all of them. <laughs> but now this person is like a lot. Uh, this person is a lot. And it's a side to them that you have not seen. So it can be a connection getting off the ground. You have seen the King of Swords. You have seen a certain way. You have felt connected, but you haven't seen it. They haven't seen it even. Okay, this person is saying, well, booking tickets here. I'm going to be there <laughs> wherever, you, wherever you arrive. <laughs> there is, uh, you know, connecting uh, communication, right? It's um, online. A uh, lot, of, lot of communication is fast. Let's do this. Let's do this. It's like, let's keep the momentum. Let's not hold back. <laughs> Yeah, 
they have to hold themselves back uh, as well because the the personality or the what they are showing you it's like they don't have any control yeah and they are then because it's not so um natural for this person to be following their intuition it's just not uh, it's not uh, comfortable even but that's why they have all this uh, is, is this they put you on a pedestal they are just waiting by the screen and and, and they are also feeling this it's it's as if it's like like this secret desire inside of them but it's also to do with their inner child and nostalgia and all that and they are sort, sort of Oh, this is this is what I want. Taurus is what I want. Okay. Um. So they have two sides to them. I'm picking up strongly, and they could be a you know, family person uh, as well. But they, this this time they, it's something about they want to just spend time with you. They want to get their feelings out. They want to be this person. They want to be with you. So they you could suddenly see them. Yeah. See. They come to you, Taurus, as someone humble. They come to you as someone like a, a teenager in love and lust. That's how they come to you. You know, this person is ready to, you know, it's it's a be and do whatever it takes in a way. But they are genuine in their feelings. But it's something about them keeping like this nostalgia down for too long, and and then when this person shifts and they do open up so it i would say as well it's uh, and i think it, it, i won't say that people are all familiar with being in love that that's something you you do well i de definitely see that this person don't do it so well because they are they could seem as if they are a teenager in a way but do you find it sweet you 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 see, like it's like you accept each other's uh, love language. Yeah, you accept each other's lo love language, and you rather have that silly lo love language. Someone that is acting a bit <laughs> like they could. It's they they need like compliments or you know they 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 give you a lot of compliments and they're just very fiery and, and you are grounded here and, and you just see suddenly different side to this person and you know the type of language they're using or the, the love language and, and the speed, you are kind of laughing inside, but you find it, I see that you find it sweet. You rather them do that than be the, the strong silent type, which is the side they have showed to you. And you think, what, what is that all about? What, is, what does this person actually want? What, what, what is it about? Why, why are they holding back? Okay. What are they so afraid of? So you are uh, making this person, Taurus, come out of their shell, uh, really. And they love that, that you, that you do that. No one else have made them come out of their shell like this, like to act like a, 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 you know, a shy person <laughs> at a, an older age even. Okay, so this person is a hopeless romantic. Their hopeless closet romantic is jumping out of the closet. Um, they come in peace. They come as a gentleman, gentlewoman. They are very attracted to you they might have a little bit unrealistic expectations because i'm telling you taurus this person don't even like have anything to do with anything romance for them they are like it's as if they have sort of been um if they watch something you know romantic they'd be like, ah that's like yuck or like if you ask this person what they did for valentine they'd be like what do you mean valentine i don't celebrate valentine i am not that kind of person and suddenly they are uh, hoarding balloons in a room and they open the doors to the room and actually they've been hoarding like a valentine material and, <laughs> and souvenirs for years and uh, even a decade but they have never given it to anyone because they have kept that outer ex like outside they are a certain person that that is not part of them when they are sort of a closet romantic okay there is something that happened to them in childhood where someone just put a, like a, they were boiling of romance and they were so happy and there was someone that could be to do with their upbringing and said, what, you, you, you are not supposed to, you know, it's like they just 
shut this person down. They didn't want to speak about romance. They didn't want to let this person express their butterflies and, and so on. So that could be to do with their upbringing. Like it wasn't in their upbringing and, and maybe parents or someone around them didn't know how actually sensitive they were as a child. So this is someone that grew up as a strong silent type, not expressing love or romance and, and not Mm, it was just like, okay, you go straight to, to school, university, you're very intelligent, that's what you focus on, that's what you can speak about, but anything to do with love and romance, no, 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 what, what's not making you money is not, not to talk about, that's not important. So there could be someone, again, that's why they're always like, well, I love all this, but I, 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 it was almost like a taboo where, the, where they're from. And now you have found the key. <laughs> Taurus, you have found the key and you are opening up their heart and they are just letting out the, you know, all the, the hearts, the teddy bears and, you know, the smoke signals. You might just look up in the sky and there is a heart in the sky for you, Taurus. <laughs> so I'm going to have a quick break and I'm going to drink some water and I'm going to find another deck and let's look into your feelings, Taurus. So, Taurus, Taurus, ten of earth, eight of earth. Wow, strong arcanas, the justice, love. Uh, supposedly, that's the lovers in this deck, the star, the wheel of fortune, my goodness, and the strength. Uh, yes, this is a powerful energy. Let's break it up. Let's look into it. You are coming into this wealthy way of thinking about a relationship, a connection. Uh, which is important to you. You have put a lot of work in to reach where you are. Uh, you could be from a, a good family. They have a you know own big house or there's something about wealth around you, Taurus. There's also about the wealth that you are looking to build with someone should you move, move forward. Okay, there is this fool. Okay, let's take a chance on this. I'm getting Mamma Mia, let's take a chance. Uh, Queen of Cups. Okay, you are turning towards someone. You're saying... I am going to hold my cup and look towards this person with love. Uh, some of you might have dogs as well, small dogs, um, getting Maltese. Yeah, justice, Taurus, wow, love, ten of cups, justice. This is the love. <laughs> this is the love. But here we have, okay, so it is something about now you definitely will depart from a part a past situation, uh, not so much getting the past, but it's also, how can I say, uh, it wasn't really how I'm going to word it, it is someone from the past, sorry, coming out of the cold, out of the isolation, it is, this is also acknowledging that what is meant to be, you cannot force it to stay away, it will always be temporary. Anything that is as strong as this connection here, no one can uh, keep you apart because the wheel is very strong. The star will bring healing. Taurus, you have worked very hard. You work, see here, we have the seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles here, nine of pentacles. So you have laid a foundation, you spent years working, you have perfected your craft, Taurus. Um, all right, there is the confusion in love is no longer going to be confusion and or uncertain, but there has been a break. There has been an evaluation of feelings. There has been, okay, what is this? Is this obsessive, uh, compulsive, <laughs> or is this, uh, uh, is this too impulsive? Is this pure lust? What is this? But here it is two people uh, kind of letting that go. You're letting someone in Taurus. Uh, I feel that it's there's no good reasons not to let this person in. There is no good reason for them not to open up. It's just going to happen. Basically, yes. This connection is shining two people is the, the love that you have together the spark has been lit you cannot it cannot really stay down for too long if you ever you know speak to people or you know i think we all have 
friends, family members, and so on. And, 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 and regardless of the circumstances, third parties, different countries, whatever, you hear these stories and, and you are like, yeah, they, they were always meant to be together and they make things work. This is a connection where it doesn't really matter of the the circumstances here doesn't matter of a, of the five of pentacles or there is something about it doesn't really matter here whatever has happened or the circumstances I'm getting on repeat because this is a meant to be. Uh, for sure it is meant to be uh, and, and, and you can run but you cannot hide from this connection. Of course you have free will, <laughs> but this person here is going to be knocking on your door uh, here, uh, Taurus, I believe that you will open the door. I believe you will be opening the door, yes. Um, so let's pull out a few more cards. Um, I love when I don't have to put, like, go, go off on one. Uh, but you know, you don't, you never know. This can change. <laughs> I am uh, not very good with sticking to time agendas or anything. Uh, I admire those that do. <laughs> I really do. So, yeah. So there is a temporary thing here. See, there's a temporary. So this person had been too afraid to show how interested they are in you or how like they don't want to come across as crazy because they are crazy in love and you want to really bring it down to earth way too long and say okay I better I better leave this out in the cold or I better not look at them then because x y and z okay so for many of you of love is often scary of course there is different uh, there, there's a reason why there's <laughs> so many tarot channels as well but um, anyway the, the the pro the cons are not going to un outweigh the, the pros okay um, tourists it, it will not strength again okay you are aligning Taurus be patient strong position sound venture Resolving challenges with a partner and the worst is over. Stability is ahead. You could meet this person or could have met through work. It could seem very practical actually and uh, it's uh, not a romantic setup. But this person is going to be here for the long haul. This person wants a secure family life. They want to build wealth. They want to build the inheritance. Actually, this person, when you first met them, or I'm picking up something that you think, this person don't seem to care about any of that. Um, this person, you both could resemble a very independent, you know how to live the good life, not necessarily see each other uh, with the cats and the dogs and the, you know, the family, the grandparents and, and something traditional. But I see two people here will end up doing exactly that because it is a fulfilling relationship it's it's two people saying well this is is what we want uh i do pick up taurus with a fixed sign potentially we have leo and aquarius i do feel those signs are going to be in this person's chart okay this is it has both elements of hierophant and high priestess the emperor, this person is going to take charge, okay? There is bickering, letting go of ego, tension, gossip, and so on. But, but you know, here, um, it, it, nothing's going to stop this connection coming together, Taurus. For, for most Taurus, uh, I, you can just graduate uh, <laughs> watching the Rainbow Wizard channel for, this, for the next three months, uh, or maybe this will be for the <laughs> lifetime. Uh, I, I, no, I'm not even joking, actually. I would, would say that many tourists that are... Okay, so let's get something straight that... If you're watching the reading, you are completely single. There isn't a person at all. This person could come certainly up. In your life if you're single and you ha are just hurting and you definitely don't not want to be with anyone at all this person could still come up in your life uh, this is also a person that the separation had been enough for someone to take the necessary steps and changes so this could fit all Taurus now if you know that I don't want to see anyone for the next three months I've got 
I lock my door, throw the key in the river, okay, uh, uh, my phone is off, okay, it's not that situation. But I would say for most stores, you're not going to get away from this, uh, actually. <laughs> you let me know in the comments. Uh, you will not get away from this. There is a change in the air that uh, it's something you have completely given up on as well. It is that feeling actually, because five of pentacles, it, you could have had a hit to your success and you're like, what on earth is going on? I thought this was or evolving. I thought this was going well. I, I was wrong. There's something about you saying I was wrong or I was unfairly treated. And then you're like, okay, I'm going to start from scratch. I'm going to have to accept this. And then boom, this situation here is going to happen whether you, um, you know, are, are prepared or not. This is just happening. The major arcanas will take a charge. This person is coming in. There is that realigning of the energies. Uh, season, Gemini season, things will go very fast. Um, I, I am someone that I'm not an astrologer at all. But I would say, personally, I pick up energies very strong. Uh, shifts in the... In, in the I, I notice big shifts uh, when we move in from each month of, you know, like the, the star sign seasons as well. I definitely do. So the concern here, I see someone... Someone is acting as if they are... Oh, my concern. This is someone that is trying to not mix business and pleasure, but thinking of it a different way, okay? They have to think outside the box. Great fortune and love, wow. Privileged lady, so someone will be the privileged lady, courtship, family room, okay, might as well gift, <laughs> mature woman. So yeah, this is happening uh, here. It is definitely, definitely, definitely happening for you, Taurus. It's very exciting. Please invite me to the wedding. Let me know how it is. Um, <laughs> it's uh, it's something that is, is happening within the next uh, month, I would say, by the end of June, even though this reading is for a week's time. Uh, also, I'm seeing this. It's like if you get signs at the moment, follow them. Follow your heart, Taurus. Def definitely follow your heart. It is not so much about following a person here as following your heart will lead you to, to this, this union. It's an experience you do not want to miss. Um, should I pull out another card? It's, it says uh, quit while you are ahead, which, which I will be doing for once. <laughs> this wanted to come out. And it's the judgment. It's the judgment and it is. These cards here, okay? This could be a delayed uh, offer, but it's coming, okay? It is. Okay, so what I'm picking up here strongly, a Taurus. So there was a spark, a connection. Boom. And then two people have gone each their own and been like, oh my God, this is like inappropriate. Must hold this back. This cannot be. This cannot be. Okay, let's just turn it away from each other, just uh, wait to this, uh, uh, you know, pass in, in a way. So, so, so someone might be, your person uh, might be thinking, how can I, uh, have I lost the plot? How can I feel such feelings even, you know, because here it might not even have been a physical, you have been physically together even for some. So, so then it's something about someone is like, Oh, I must look crazy. This is unrealistic. What's wrong with me? Let's call the doctor <laughs> in a funny way. Okay. You might be also Taurus saying, okay, I've just come out of something. I, you know, I don't want to be uh, my career interrupted. Or maybe you have a hit to your success where you feel, oh, I don't feel successful at the moment. I don't feel this. I don't, oh, I have to get out of this. I can't pr prioritize love at the moment. I don't feel my best in a way. It could be a like a few days of that. It's something that is coming up here. But uh, no, uh, your strength, your strength will pull you through whatever temporary sort of defeat that you are going through, Taurus. So I have one final message here and it's spiritual strength. Yes, spiritual strength. It really sums up here with the Hierophant and the strength. It's something about really staying true to your spiritual strength here. It's you will draw encouragement, Taurus, and the Hierophant is also your card, you know. Um, you have 
and inner strength, Taurus, to complete whatever you have been working on. Have courage and you also have discipline, stability and persistence. You might feel tired and weary from struggle. Don't give in. Tap into inner reserves that you have at the moment. Give a final push to achieve your desired outcome. So you have been through so much to get to this point, Taurus. And maybe you have some scars from the battle as well, but you are wiser and stronger. You have also gained enlightenment and in, you are an invaluable resource at this time. You might notice that you are experimenting with different things as well. So it is something about feeding into your spirits and offer you knowledge from even the feet in the future. So any like uh, uh, at the moment you are wanting to, you are saying, I'm going to draw strength from within in this, in this church here. Because even the successful ones, even stars will fade. There will be clouds in front of the stars, but the stars will never be taken down. When, once you are a star, you are a star. You are in the sky. You have always been in the sky. They're shining. So, um, yeah, very powerful reading, Taurus. Wonderful reading. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, and I wish you a, a wonderful Sunday uh, and a week ahead.